Hey Pisces, welcome to your reading. It's Empress Rose here uh, and these are general readings so we take what works and we leave what doesn't as with everything in life. And uh, if you don't, if I don't catch your wavelength here, check your other major placements and see if I don't catch your storyline over there. And I'm on the road this week and so I'm doing this from an unusual location and it's got me a little like thrown here. So we'll see what happens. Probably not any massive explosions that are going to kill a thousand people. So I feel pretty good about this. Like, I don't think we're going to do any big disasters here. It just feels a little wonky to me. It's n literally not my comfort zone. So Oracle mystical moments. What do we have for our Pisces? All right. One thing I like about this. Oh, my camera's in a different place too. So that's going to mess me up. Uh, is here these oracle mystical moments cards seem to like just pop out um in this location i don't quite get what that's about but i like it it's fun um okay so we have the observer you are closely observing something watching it uh focused on it or you appear to be focused on it you might be getting a little distracted but there's something you're closely watching possibly through social media um looking for hints looking for clues trying to understand something you might get a little distracted but um it's almost like the distraction and the focus toggling between the two create more and more ideas actually you're very committed to this though i mean you you're physically very appear very focused even though you've got a little wandering eye here um, but you are watching something very closely um, you also have keys on trees here so you're out of your comfort zone hey i am too look at that like we're both out of our comfort zone, but this is some place where you didn't necessarily put yourself up here. Uh, obviously no elephant in its right mind. Um, I wonder if elephants get rabies, but no elephant in its right mind is gonna like climb up here and actually get into this cage and lock itself in there. So somebody else has done that or some sort of situation in your life has happened, uh, whether intentional or not, you are way out of your comfort zone. You're up in this tower. Um, some of the the good news is, there's good news, the bad news is you're out of your comfort zone, you're kind of stuck there right now, um, and you're trapped there for a little while. The good news is that you have a lot of keys all around you and you can reach all of them with your trunk. The bad news is that it might take some work and it's not probably, statistically not the first key you try, but there's going to be a lot of other keys here. So you're going to have to do some work. Um, and then eventually you'll get out of here and so the good news is you'll get down uh, the, uh, there's more good news we don't just have to go back to bad news um, the other good news here is that while you've been up here you've learned quite a bit you know the lay of the land um, and one day you're going to be out with your elephant friends and they're going to say we need some water and you're going to say oh I know a watering hole and they're going to say how and you're going to say because of this shit I went through I know exactly what to do here because I've got this um, you know I've got this amazing memory these elephants have these amazing memory and I know exactly where I remember this whole aerial view I got of our whole jungle and I know where to go so this is a great learning experience um, you're probably not feeling that way right now um but you, it is you're out of your comfort zone but you're learning so much here um you, you wouldn't put yourself up here you wouldn't do this again uh, if given half the choice but um but since you are here you got your work cut out for you but there's going to be a lot of benefit for it um, and then you have change of seasons. So everything's changing around you. Um, we have fall, we have spring all together. We have you feeling a little bit vulnerable, a little bit worried and scared, but mostly calm because there's not much to be done here except the world changing around you, everything changing around you. This is like the world card in the tarot, just big changes going on all around you and you feel maybe a little vulnerable, maybe a little, um, yeah, I mean, you're down in your underwear here, uh, you know, but the, the world is changing your clothes for you and changing, uh, changing the world around you. So that's all happening together. You're watching it very closely, you're watching something very closely. <laughs> and the, these changes happening to you. 
and then also the change that you're doing yourself. You're doing this change yourself. You have to do all the work here. This isn't nothing here is going to happen if you don't make it happen. So you're going to have to do all the work here, but here you're not doing anything. There's some other aspect of your life, which is just flowing and changing and the winds of change have come and they're going to blow um, your clothes off or they're going to blow you. Um, they're going to just change change how your life looks completely um so the winds of change not completely don't freak out but um you know the winds of change are here and they've come in and they're out of your control and the only thing you can do is basically stand there and and allow the changes to happen to you all right so here's ethereal visions for the tarot 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 part of the tarot reading all right pisces <sighs> Okay, Pisces, this is your past, your present, your inner landscape, what's at issue, your environment, your to-do list, and your possible outcome. Okay, in your past, you have this um, Five of Cups, grief over um, spilled, <sighs> crying over spilled milk, basically. Um, and there is no use crying over spilled milk, except you process shit and you get move on with your life instead of holding on to the spilled milk idea and being bitter and angry about it. So yeah, there's no use crying over spilled milk. Yeah, it doesn't clean up the milk, but the milk's already spilled. So um, I say there is some use in crying over spilled milk. It's called the grief process and it's incredibly important to our psyche. So here we have a grief process going on. Um, it's water under the bridge to use another little uh, phrase we like to use here. It's water under the bridge. You lost something. Uh, you've lost these three cups right here. They've spilled. Um, as soon as you're ready, as soon as you go through this crying over spilled milk, this grief process, you got these two cups back here. So you've got something. Uh, you've got a lot going for you. Um, you've got you have something, but it right here, um, you're just really focused on what you don't have and what you thought you had, but what's now been lost. But water's meant to flow, and that's what it did. Um, and then in your current situation, you have the Nine of Pentacles. So you have sort of, this is my Widow Clicquot boss lady. Um, she's harvesting some fruits here. She's worked hard. She owns the winery. This is her, um, this is her enterprise. She owns the winery. She's worked incredibly hard for this. This is years and years have gone into finding the right variety of grapes, growing the grapes, making sure the soil conditions were perfect. Now she's having a bumper crop harvest here. It's coming in. There's still a lot that needs to be done. They need to be crushed. They need to be, uh, put into, uh, caskets. No, is that the right word? Anyway, they need to be put into casks, um, not caskets, uh, casks and, uh, and barrels and aged for years yet. So there's a lot of work to be done, but we have um, either you or someone in your environment in the present moment is in the process of bringing in a harvest of lots of hard work um, that they have put into it. And they're I mean, I normally I'm gender schmender here. I don't really care, but this is this is the female boss lady card of the deck. So, um, so it might not matter, but it is something to pay attention to on that card alone. Um, on your mind is a seven of wands conflict. You're worried about conflict. You don't want to create conflict. You'd rather not deal with it. Um, you're worried that what you want and your intuition here is going to create conflict with a lot of other people and you don't really want to do that. That's what you're worried about is creating this conflict. That's a concern that you have right now. Ooh, uh, what's at issue here is the sun card reversed. That's like not a lot of clarity, not a lot of happiness. There's a, maybe a touch of depression going on right here, but definitely no clarity. All the things we love about the sun, the clarity, the growth, the, um, the happiness, the joy. Um, we're not having a sunny day right here. We're having a cloudy day. There's not a lot of growth. There's not a lot of joy. It's kind of down in the dumps. I mean, myself, I love a cloudy day, but the tarot doesn't. The tarot has a, a, a good idea about what it's thinking here, and it's thinking that um, that it's there's a lack of clarity and um, and where you want clarity, where you'd like clarity, but you're not experiencing it or feeling it right now. Um, there's unhappiness. I mean, maybe you're a little bit stuck in this energy still, of very unhappy about very unhappy about something about what you have 
about something. Um, in your environment, you have the fool here. You have um, going on around you is a leaping into the future, a leaping, okay, yes, there's dangers. Yes, there's problems. Yes, there's storm clouds just right there. But right now we're focusing in your environment. You do have this sunshine, right? This is reminding me of these two cups back here. And what this wants to be is upright. We've got the sunshine. We've got a glimmer of sunshine here, just these rays coming out. Um, and the Fool card is acknowledging the difficulties ahead, acknowledging the precipice, acknowledging all of that, and leaping anyway, understanding that the journey's never perfect, that there are flat tires, that there are uh, broken AC units. Um, that there are, there's traffic, there might be accidents, there's, there's, it's life, it's not going to go perfectly. So there's this opportunity though for a brand new, spanking new beginning, level zero here to um, leap into. So that's the energy um, in your environment. So there's something in your environment where there's some sort of new energy, some sort of new enterprise, some sort of new thing going on that's got... What's What I find funny is your environment has this like uplifting, excited energy coming in. And But what's at issue is like something, it's blocked. There's a cloud here. There's a this cloud isn't allowing for this, this, your environment, something around you wants to leap forward, wants to jump in. Um, but we ha we're having it blocked. Um, so I find that very interesting that there's not a lot of clarity with this leap forward. There's not, there's not maybe a, not a lot of enthusiasm for this leap forward. I don't understand. Here's the energy you need to come in with. Um, what you're being called to do is a knight of swords. Uh, very focused, very clear, epiphany type energy, clear communication, precise communication, very focused, very fast moving, whatever the, it seems pretty random, <laughs> honestly, like there's nothing you, maybe it's like, hurry up and unlock this, like go move, move on it, move on it quickly. Um, you've, but you don't want to, there's this lack of clarity. Um, this fool energy, this environment thing is saying, you know, there's an environment, something in your environment that's like leap forward. Um, and you're being called to, into this energy. So find that energy, whatever moves fast, whatever has clarity, focus, move quickly on something, uh, maybe on this new beginning, even though you lack clarity, even though you lack this, um, there's this um, energy to move into to move very quickly and clearly in a very focused way. Uh, and what's a possible outcome? This is either you or someone in your life. Queen of Wands, we have a very intuitive person, third eye, very open, um, patient, uh, nurturing, um, a very intuitive and creative person um, who's gone through a lot of personal growth um, and sees the future very clearly. Um, and this is the energy um, or the, the person or the person you will be becoming or the person you will be meeting as you leap forward with this um, focused energy or someone, some energy like this coming into your life, a clear intuition and opening of the, the third eye and clearly seeing that stuff, maybe some magical witchy vibes coming into your life here. Um, so, so the situation is changing. You definitely have your work cut out for you. Um, and I think that's a little bit, I think we're getting echoes here. Your work cut out for you in these keys. This work, um, halfway through this work, work cut out for us. All right, Pisces, I hope that that was a, um, helpful to you. And I do like your likes, comments, and subscribes. Um, I enjoy engaging with your comments, although I'm not particularly quick on the draw sometimes um, to do that, but I do enjoy reading them and um, hearing your feelings and opinions. And you all have been like awesome and sane with the opinions and feelings you share. So I do like it. Um, so anyway, I hope you have a great week.